Hey, and welcome back behind the wheel, the 2016 Chevrolet Colorado. We have the four-wheel drive Z71 Cruise Short Box. I'm Dave Erickson. We're here at the Ridge Motorsports Park in Western Washington as part of a two-day event to determine the Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year. And we're doing two days. The first day was on a sealed surface for testing, backup camera. We had um, acceleration, brake test, and some ride and handling. Today is about off-road, so lots to talk about, lots to show you. Let's get started. I'm going the easy course since I'm by myself. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yep, okay. You'll know. I won't be. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are off. Now there's different options we can play with here today. We've got two wheel high, auto, four wheel high, four wheel low. We hit, Right now we have it in four wheel uh, high. So we're gonna leave it at that as we go through this course. Not gonna go very fast at all. We will experiment with a hill descent control because there will be a steep section coming up. This vehicle can take the more extreme course. We're just gonna take it somewhat easy today uh, just to showcase what it can do on regular, I guess, realistic expectations for you. If you're in the market for a Colorado, I'm sure you're gonna be going off-road at some point or towing. I know you'll be fine and happy with it. Test drive it. Beforehand, obviously, I know you will. It's kind of a treat for me to get behind the wheel of a Chevy in conditions like this. This is somewhat similar to our ORV park at Kenby back in Spokane because we have some decent inclines, plenty of ruts. Now here's our first climb. I'll change the uh, hill descent, obviously, after we get up there, but Right now we're just gonna go, let's go ahead and change it to four, four wheel drive low. Shifting to neutral, shifting's in progress. All right, put it back in drive, four wheel low up the hill. It's really forcing me to slow down, three miles per hour, traction control is off actually. Probably don't need to worry about that. 369 pound feet of torque. That's what, I, that's what I found on this engine, although we do have the 2.8 liter Duramax diesel, turbo, four cylinder. I will outline all the details of this car on this truck on everymandriver.com. Boy, I just handled that with no problem, didn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna put it in neutral and put it back into four wheel drive, high. Activate the hill descent control take my foot off the gas and the pedal, at the brake pedal it is, let the vehicle do the work as it goes down. So I'm not touching anything. And it takes it like a champ. One more little option or another uh, opportunity to kill descent on the way down. I'll stay here, I'll teeter, and then I'll just take my foot off the brake. Wonderful. The vehicle is kind of grabbing so it doesn't go too fast, sticking at two miles per hour. You can see the flashing of the hill descent icon in the instrument cluster. Just like that. I'll take the hill descent off. Now we're back up to normal speed and four-wheel drive, four-wheel high. Let's check out the how this holds on this slight hillside. The back end is kind of sliding down low, but that's okay. Like a champ. Fuel economy in this Colorado 20 city, 29 highway. Chevrolet is looking for a mixed driving number of 23 miles per gallon.
seriously, if you'd like to schedule a test drive or actually receive a free quote from a dealership in your area, go to car.show forward slash everyman driver. Car period show forward slash everyman driver. Fill out Chevrolet, Colorado, Z71, and then your zip code in a dealership in your area will send you a free quote and then you can schedule a test drive and see how it does where you live. Great deal, it's free, easy for you. I will have much more information on everymandriver.com. MSRP on this, uh, under $42,000. Not too shabby, huh? Thanks so much for watching this. Uh, I will have all my videos from this event in a playlist on YouTube. That playlist will be labeled 2016 Mudfest. So check it out there and leave your comments below. Let's start a conversation about your thoughts on uh, my driving and about how this vehicle did. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Adios.